Hey, this is Ed from Foundry, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to save a mesh preset, uh, and I'm also going to cover some tips for uh, when you save a mesh preset, uh, such as creating a thumbnail. So I have this mesh item here. It's a single mesh item, uh, and it was created with Mesh Fusion, but right now it's uh, just regular standard polygons. And I want to save this as a uh, preset. So before I do that, I'm going to create the thumbnail. So I'll come over to the render layout, and I'll just click the triangle to fire off a preview render. And I want to uh, create a 512 by 512 uh, pixel composition, uh, so a perfectly square uh, composition. So I'll come over to the frame width and height in the render item uh, properties. So I'll change the width to 512. Uh, and then to make uh, the height the same, I'll just hold Shift, Control, Alt, and press Enter so that we get the same in the width and the height. Now I'd like to add uh, a gradient in the background instead of uh, the standard alpha. Right now it looks like a gradient, but if I save this it will actually just be uh, an alpha. So I'll come over to Item, Create Environment, and that will create a new environment in our shader tree. Now this top environment I only want to be visible to camera, so I'll disable uh, visible to indirect rays, reflection rays, and refraction rays. So this environment will only be seen by the camera, it will have no effect on our mesh. So I'm going to expand that uh, environment and then I'm going to add a layer and I'll choose processing, gradient, and I'm going to change the input parameter of this uh, texture layer, of this uh, gradient. So instead of distance to camera, we'll use uh, sample parameters, screen R for uh, radial, and then I'm going to edit the gradient. So this first uh, little node here is going to be uh, one color, we'll just choose like a bluish, like a light blue, and then I'm going to middle mouse button click right around the one uh, point right there, and I'll make this uh, very dark. And this will just give us kind of like a faux uh, vignette effect, like so. And this isn't perfect, but it's it's good enough. You can adjust this, you can add more points uh, to change the colors, but for now that's fine. I'm good with this. So now I'm just going to frame it by navigating in the preview uh, window. And that's good enough for me. I'll just uh, fire off a bucket render, so I'll just click uh, Render. This is uh, the same as pressing F9. And here is our render. So now let's actually save this preset. So I'll come back over to the modeling layout. And if I were to uh, right click on this mesh in the item list and choose Presets, Save, uh, it would save the mesh along with the material in the shader tree. So along with this uh, test form. So I could also, uh, instead of right clicking in the item list, I can right click directly on the mesh and choose Item Operations, Presets, Save. Uh, but what I'm actually going to do is save this without the material. So I will just quickly delete the material group. So right click, delete. So we have no material. And then I will right click on the uh, mesh as, it, if, as it's selected in the item list and just choose item properties, presets, save. And it's going to ask me where I would like to save it. Um, this is the directory for our, uh, our assets. So I am going to save it in meshes. I'll click add meshes, that's my custom uh, folder. I'll just create a new folder called test and then within test I'll just call this test underscore mesh underscore 001 and I will save it as an LXL. And now when I press F6 I bring up my preset browser and here in the directory on the left side uh, we can see I have ed meshes and you might not see your test folder at first but uh, so you might have to open up your preset browser a couple times. Mine happens to be there, so I'll just click on, where is it, in Ed Meshes, test right here, and here is our uh, test mesh. <laughs> it looks like I misspelled it, so we can just -click, uh, right click and rename that uh, test mess. I hope it's not a mesh, or a mess, there we go. So now it's spelled correctly. Uh, now we can also use that nice render that we had by just right clicking on this and choosing replace icon with last render. You can also replace it with uh, an image file, which is a nice option, but I'll just choose replace with last render. And I might have to go back up and then go back into that. And here we are, we have our nice image. So now if I were to close this scene, 
I don't need to save it. I'll press F6 and if I double click the mesh, here is our mesh item. Now sometimes when you, uh, well actually all the time when you uh, bring in mesh presets, you get the mesh which you would expect, but you also get uh, an empty material group. Uh, it's pretty easy to right click and uh, delete, uh, but when you're bringing in a lot of uh, presets, uh, sometimes you'll wind up with a lot of empty material groups. You can always come over to item and choose scene cleanup and just remove uh, unused materials and click OK. And that will get rid of all the empty uh, material groups in your shader tree. And this is a really good option for just uh, quickly uh, adding props or uh, furniture to an environment. So I hope that was helpful. Um, stay tuned for more videos on Moto Geeks TV.